Jennifer and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another Ipsy unboxing for you. So this is the June 2021 Glam Bag and the Glam Bag Plus. The theme this month is to be bold, be yourself, which is a message that I absolutely love. You know that I love playing with colors myself and I try to just be my authentic self all the time. So this month's unboxing is going to be a little bit different than the last couple that I did because I took a little sneak peek and there were not a whole lot of makeup products in there that I would be able to try on for you. So today is just going to be a pure unboxing, nothing fancy. So let's get into it. So let's start with what is in the glam bag. The first item that I have is this Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick. This looks like a little travel size or a mini size. This is in the shade Crush. So this is what it looks like. It actually looks like it will be a little bit too light for me. I just feel like this kind of pink gives me like weird Barbie-ish vibes that I don't like. So I'm going to give this one away. Next we have this Grow Gorgeous hair mask and it is a repair strengthening hair and scalp mask. And I like hair masks that I can like do and complete in the shower. So this one is you use it after the shampoo and you just leave it on for five minutes and you rinse it out. I cannot commit to hair masks that are like overnight or any longer than like five minutes because I just have so much hair and I'm lazy. So that was perfect. Next is this Dermatologist Choice pH Balanced Cleanser. It also has glycolic acid and AHA in it. This size is perfect for me when I bring them on my business trips that are only a couple days long. It's also cruelty free and fragrance free, which is a bonus. Next, we have an eyeliner from Gerard Cosmetics. I've actually never tried anything from Gerard Cosmetics besides for the liquid lipsticks, which I wore one on my wedding day. I really like the formula. I'm just not good at uh, eyeliner that is not in a pen form, so we'll see if I end up digging into that. Last but not least, we have this Tarte Lash Paint Mascara. I love it when mini mascaras give you a full size brush because that gives you a really good indication on if you would like the full size version. I feel like with mascaras, the brush kind of makes more of a difference than the formula for me personally. So love that this came with like a full size brush on the inside. Okay, let's dig into the Glam Bag Plus. The first item that I pulled out is this brush set. So this is the Rainbow Luxe set and the handles have glitter embedded in them, not like on the outside. So it's still a smooth handle, which I love. The brushes are quite dense, but also very soft and I cannot wait to try these. So the next item in here, it looks like a full size hair mask. This thing is literally the length of my face. This is the Foxy Bay 12 in 1 Magic Daily Leave-In Hair Mask. So love that it's leave-in because I am not too lazy for that. I would definitely get some use out of it. Whenever I use like leave-in hair masks, I always only apply them on the bottom half of my hair because if I apply them up here next to the scalp, one, it flattens my hair. I find that I get no volume. I already have no volume. And two, my scalp is kind of sensitive in that like if I don't have the right balance of conditioner and shampoo, it wants to create dandruff. So I stay away from my scalp. But it has 12 luxurious butters, oils, and proteins. Quite excited to try this actually. Next we have a mini size of the Benefit Pore Professional Super Setter Long Lasting Setting Spray. Oh my gosh, look at this little bottle. Isn't it so cute? I don't personally use a whole lot of setting spray, so I think I might give this to a friend who I know loves the professional line from Benefit. Next is this Mud Masky. This is like an eye serum, and it's actually quite a giant bottle. It's one fluid ounce, so it's the size of like most foundations, which is quite big for an eye. Oh, it's an eye mask, serum infused eye mask. It reduces dark circles, puffy eyes, fine wrinkles, dry skin, and swelling pH balanced, fragrance free. That's all great. It even gives you a little warning on the back that it smells a little funky and that's because there is no fragrance in it. The last thing I have in here is this Bali Balm. It is a lemon and pepper lip balm. Kind of a cool combination for a lip product. Oh my gosh, right away when I open the box, it kind of smells like a lemon poppy seed muffin. It smells so good. This is what the balm looks like. It does say that if it's cold, you might have to warm it up between your hands so that it's easier to squeeze. So it's pretty easy for me to squeeze right now. I only squeezed out a little bit. 
and when I rub it in it just feels very luxurious and kind of just full of those healthy oils that will keep your lips moist there's no glitter or anything to it so anyone can use it and it smells amazing so that is it for my unboxing today. I know this might have felt pretty speedy because I didn't really try anything on. Hopefully in next month's bags, we'll be able to go back to, you know, creating a full look with things that are in the bag. If you subscribe to Ipsy, let me know what you got in your bag that was maybe different than mine. I love seeing all the different combinations. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!